Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be updating my frame generation guide for Blackmate Wukong. We'll show you how to use DLSS4 in conjunction with XCSS or FSR frame generation. The guide will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. The game received a major update in the form of version 1.0.20.22023. The update includes many bug fixes and also improves the game's performance. Quickly go through the patch. The game officially supports FSR 4 and even FSR 3.1, but FSR upscaler is not decoupled from frame gen. We cannot combine DLSS upscaler with FSR frame gen. This game officially supports XCSS frame generation, but even after updating XCSS files to the latest ones, you won't be able to use XCSS frame gen on an RTX GPU. Improved compatible mode significantly improve the lighting quality when global illumination is set to low making it closer to the effect when global illumination is set to high i have already highlighted the difference between low and medium global illumination preset on my raw lab improve cpu and rendering performance in numerous scenarios improved memory usage in numerous scenarios again raw lab benefited a lot with the optimized memory usage i played the game with the uma buffer size setting of 5 gb in the older versions of the game with the same settings I had to set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. Now the game consumes less VRAM. Improve the quality of motion blur to mitigate the aliasing issue that occur when the camera pans. I'll be using OptiScaler Mods version 0.9 Preview 4 2025-0922 build. It's available on their Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description of the video. Just click on the dot link here. The game comes with an older version of DLSS4 Upscaler. I'll just use NVIDIA app to override DLSS Upscaler to the latest one offered by NVIDIA app. Just open NVIDIA app. Click on Graphics. Click on the three dots here. Click on Refresh. The list will show you all of the games that are installed on your PC. From this list, select Blackmate Wukong. Scroll down until you find DLSS Override Model Preset Setting. Click on the pencil icon next to it and from here select Latest. Then click on apply. I have already done this. We will be using TLSS debug overlay to verify the upscaler's details. We will activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I will just name it as overlay. Change its extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. If you want to disable DLSS debug overlay, replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I will revert the change as I want to enable DLSS debug overlay. Select the file, right click open. Yes, ok. Now I will be installing OptiScaler mod, just open its archive file. Select the highlighted files optiscaler.ini, optiscaler.tll, libxcss underscore fg.tll. This is XCSS frame gen file. DXLAN version of XCSS super resolution not required. libxcss.tll, XCSS super resolution DirectX 12. And Vulkan modes. libxcll.tll, XCSS low latency mode. Fake NV API.ini, fake NV API.tll. Fake NV API will replace the in game reflex implementation with. XCSS low latency mode. Lookum 9 smart not required. Vulkan version of Fidelity FX not required. Just select all of the DX12 versions of Fidelity FX files. Right click, copy, select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open B1 folder, open Pioneer's folder, Win64 folder, paste everything here. Replace. Now we just need to change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll. The mod has been installed. Enabling hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using XCSS frame gen, but if you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, and from here enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings, click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select Blackmate Wukong, scroll down to the end. 
and enable vsync from here my monitor is gsync compatible i'll enable the corresponding settings for it click on setup gsync from here enable the following settings enable gsync gsync compatible enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model i'll also enable gsync compatible indicator this step is optional click on display and check the setting gsync compatible indicator we'll be using rtss and afterburner to show you the performance stats just open rtss click on setup scroll down to the end make sure enable frame rate limiter and inject nvidia reflex latency marker settings are disabled and just enable use microsoft d2's api hooking setting we are ready to run the game play display settings display mode borderless required for using xcss frame gen i have set the resolution to full hd no fps cap applied vsync off motion blur disabled very important sharpening intensity set to 3 up to you camera shake i have disabled it super resolution value set to 65 even when I set it to 67, game automatically changes it to 65. 67 is basically the quality preset of DLSS upscaler. This is close to it. Upscaler DLSS low latency mode, just set it to auto. Reflex will be used. Ray tracing, I have disabled it. Post effects quality set to low. View distance quality, anti lazing quality, and global illumination quality set to high. Rest of the settings set to medium. Yeah, we are in. I am at Rhino War Slope. It's the last level of the game. Just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. DLSS Upscaler selected from this top down bar. Version 310.3.0. Same version is mentioned in DLSS Debug Overlay. Render preset used is K. This is the transformer model of DLSS 4. Input in game DLSS TXTS spoofing off. Auto Exposure setting is on. DLSS auto exposure setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. No frame generation selected. Base resolution 1248 by 704 pixels. Upscale to full HD resolution. While enable OptiScaler's performance overlay. Expand FPS overlay section. Check this setting FPS overlay enabled. Full plus graph scale 1.3. Save INI close. I'll explore the area on foot will be targeting a base fps within a range of 60 to 70 here vram usage is around 5.9 gb this game still suffers from traversal status it's just that the game status less now compared to the previous build just summon my cloud yeah the cloud used to look a bit pixelated in the older versions of the game now it's rendered properly when you're flying around the map on your cloud in-game FSR frame generation will get disabled. This won't happen when using OptiScaler XCSS frame generation. Enabled using TLSSG via Streamline as the frame generation source. I'll just land here. The game supports TLSS frame generation and Streamline version 2.7. So this frame generation source will work properly. DLSSG via Streamline. NVIDIA Reflex will work when using FSR frame generation. And XCSS low latency mode will work when using XCSS frame generation. The FPS is close to 60 even during combat. I'm just spamming my abilities. Summon my copies. This makes the game more demanding. The FPS dropped to around 45. Okay, now I'll show you how to enable FSR frame gen. Just open OptiScaler menu, click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select TLSSG via Streamline as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select FSI FG as the option. Save and I close. Restart the game. Play. After restarting the game, you need to set in game frame generation setting to auto. In the previous version of the game, this setting was highlighted in traditional Chinese language. Now it is highlighted in English language. Upscaler, make sure it's set to TLSS. Jump into the game. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu and check this setting active under frame generation FSR FG. I'll also enable allow async setting. Current streamline frame generation state, it's on. Show you FSR frame gen debug view. No HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image. Games interface won't flicker. DLSS debug overlay is shown in the bottom middle image yeah it will flicker just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images 
smoothing effect of FSR frame gen will work properly displays are working properly for all of the images disable debug view save and I close yeah FPS is close to 105 can observe the add amount of smoothness but I am also observing some latency Nvidia reflex is working but I think base FPS dropped to around 50 after enabling FSR frame gen that's why I am observing some latency this game requires quick inputs this is why I recommend using XCSS frame gen it actually produces slightly lower latency than FSR frame gen in this game flying around just observe a character's feet spinning the camera standing on the cloud yeah some ghosting is produced around the character's feet see noticeable ghosting again XCSS frame gen won't produce this ghosting effect games interface it's not flickering only DLSS debug OLED is flickering yeah, I was waiting for these things to pop up 100 FPS even during combat not bad okay now I'll show you how to use XCSS frame gen open OptiScaler mod menu Uncheck all of FSR frame generation related settings, active, allow async. Make sure DLSS GUI streamline is selected as the frame generation source. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Save and I close. Again, restart the game. Play. Again, make sure in game frame generation setting is enabled. Set it to auto. Upscaler set to DLSS. Once the game loads up, open OptiScaler menu, check this setting active under frame generation XCFG. This will enable XCSS frame gen. Frame time graph will become thick like this. XCSS debug view for frame generation. Yeah, purple sidebars are present. This means XCSS frame gen is working. Can observe the add amount of smoothness. Disable debug view. I'll just use XCSS inspector app to verify the status of XCSS features. Just minimize the game. Run inspect tab, select B1 from here, double click, XCSS frame generation context, yeah it's running, XCLL context, low latency mode, yeah it's on, valid frames are getting generated, all good here. Back to the game, I'll play the game for a brief moment, games, hard elements, they are not flickering, FPS is close to 100, yeah XCSS frame generation's latency is lower than that of FSR frame gen. I'll just summon my cloud. Frame generation is still working. Spinning the camera, just observe a character's feet. No ghosting is produced around the feet. This is why I recommend using XSS frame gen in this game instead of using FSR frame gen. Just land here, quickly show you some combat. I'm waiting for those creatures. There they are. my abilities so good to see xcss frame generation working even with the latest version of the game before ending the video i'll show you how to disable dlss debug overlay just need to edit overlay.reg file that we created earlier select the file right click open with notepad replace the number 4 here with 0 click on file save close and run this registry file right click open yes okay that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.